Hi, this is Dr. Gary Sykes and the topic I want to discuss with you is swelling. Uh, edema is very common in pregnancy. Many pregnant women have swelling of the feet and of the hands. Um, they can see also at other parts of their body. You look at uh, some pregnant women's faces, you can see they, they become quite puffy uh, as the pregnancy um, advances. Now, usually it's not a concern. Historically, swelling was thought to be associated with preeclampsia and it's a sign of preeclampsia, but we know now that that's, that doesn't, uh, is not the case. Uh, swelling is a nuisance problem. It can mean that it's much more difficult to wear your shoes and it's not unusual for women who have very swollen feet to come along in, in thongs because that's all they can fit in. Uh, with their hands swelling, their rings can get very tight and over the years I've had uh, uh, patients where they can't get their wedding ring off and their wedding ring has to be cut off. So if you feel your fingers are swelling, please take your rings off before your fingers, uh, before your fingers get too swollen and your rings get too tight. Uh, sometimes with swelling in the hands call, can call pins, cause pins and needles, numbness in your fingers. We call that carpal tunnel syndrome because uh, it's pressure um, on the nerves as they run underneath the tendons in the wrist. It's worse um, when you're sleeping at night when you first wake up in the morning and that is because you're not using your fingers um, while you are asleep. And there's not really anything you can do about it, sadly, um, but rest assured it will all get better once you've had your baby. Not immediately, it tends to get a little bit worse, I'm sorry to say, straight after childbirth. That's worse for a you know, first week or so after childbirth and then it gets better. So your swelling will go down and you'll get back to normal again. But so, I'm sorry to say as well, you, it's more, you're, you, you know, you're prone to the swelling so it's, it's more than likely it's going to happen with another pregnancy and when you're not pregnant you, you may end up with um, more, you're more prone to swelling uh, with um, distance travel, you know, long flights and, and, and so on, long car trips. So you, you have that uh, predisposition to swelling uh, even when you're not pregnant. Bye for now.